You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when we choose to deceive. And this time we've got a sp- story involving one of the heavyweight champions of virtue signalers in all of sports media, one of the wokest of the woke. Some people could argue maybe the most woke, although you've got Max Kellerman and a few others out there. But this one in general is special. And if I'm just keeping it real, she hates white people with a passion not seen before in mankind, I believe, at least in the sports media. And now she is back with a, she's going to be hosting a special along with Donovan McNabb and Sean King. No, not Talcum X, not that MC Search wannabe, not that white guy that pretends to be black, but the actual ex-NFL quarterback, Sean King, that played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Very quickly, before we get to this story, make sure you... Grab this stand-up 1776 Patriotic T-shirt out of our merch store. I'm running a three-day sale, a flash sale. Use promo code Jamel Sucks. S-U-X, all one word, for 22% off for the next three days on anything in our merch store in honor of Jamel Hill, who sucks. This is from Outkick. Jamel Hill, Donovan McNabb, to host Dishonest Special on Discrimination Against Black Quarterbacks. Really? (laughs) Didn't Jamarcus Russell, isn't he still stealing money from the Raiders right now? Vice TV is proudly sending around an email today announcing its upcoming special. Quote, Fear of a black quarterback because everything is now about race. Jamel Hill, Donovan McNabb, and Sean King are among the contributors. It has been clarified that that Sean King is the one who uh, is the former QB Sean King, not the fraud Sean King, Talcum X, as I was talking about a minute ago. We can only hope, though, looking forward to Jamel's honest commentary, are you? In a press release, Vice TV says that the special will focus on discrimination, black players in the quarterback position that they have faced and how the log line continues. Is that a joke? Okay. I get that there's a push to call all things racist, but these media hacks do such a poor job targeting their topics. On the day of the NFL draft, ESPN heavily promoted a column in the undefeated that falsely claimed the NFL is trying to keep the quarterback position as white as the painted yard lines on the field. How ridiculous was that take? As white as the painted lines. That is ridiculous. Look at this. This is the uh, tweet that went out. By the way, Mac Jones, who is white, was ultimately drafted after both Justin Fields and Trey Lance, who are black. The narrative that the NFL is holding back black quarterbacks is also rather strange at a time when the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, Patrick Mahomes, is black. What did he sign? A $450 million contract? The second paid quarterback, highest paid quarterback is Dak Prescott. He's black. The third highest paid quarterback in NFL history is Deshaun Watson. He's black. And the fourth highest paid quarterback in NFL history is Russell Wilson, and he is also black. And despite claims of ESPN and Max Kellerman, the NFL draft isn't racist either. Jameis Winston, who narrowly avoided charges in college, went first overall. Jamarcus Russell, Cam Newton, Kyler Murray, and Michael Vick also went first overall. Do those not count? It is utterly ridiculous. Because media personalities are rewarded for yelling, quote, that's racist, 
There are days they must either manufacture stories on racism or, as in the case here, pretend a problem from decades ago still exists to keep the grift alive. In the NFL, the best players make the most money. The best player at each position starts. Oddly, that's not good enough. So I sincerely ask, what is it that Vice, Jamel Hill, ESPN, and USA Today want? Do they want fewer white quarterbacks? For 70% of NFL QBs to be black, the NFL's average across all positions. Yeah, so, and the fact is, the NFL is predominantly black. It is. I'm not sure where the racism exists in this day and time at the black quarter at the at the quarterback position this is ludicrous this is a is a documentary a special whatever it is propaganda from the leftist narrative that is a out and out lie this is a lie they are literally going to have a television program going on tv lying to people that there is an issue involving having black quarterbacks in the league and look, one could argue that because of the success that that the Chiefs have had with Patrick Mahomes, that maybe the 49ers and the Bears reached for their quarterbacks. Now, look, is that got to do with the fact that those quarterbacks are black? No. But it has to do with Patrick Mahomes' performance and his uh, dual threat capabilities and all that sort of thing. We're no longer, this is kind of like... Uh, this is kind of like uh, going to get a job now. Certain jobs are getting priorities based on race and narratives and blah, 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 as opposed to actual qualifications. In the NFL, if you can perform, you get and you keep a job. That's a fact, okay? If you don't perform, your ass gets either shipped out of town or you're forced to retire, okay? Anybody recognize Jared Goff and Carson Wentz are now on new teams, okay? Think about that. Didn't perform in the towns they were in. Shipped out of town. This is nuts. Jamarcus Russell, Steve McNair, Doug Williams, Warren Moon, Hall of Fame quarterback Warren Moon, Michael Vick. The list goes on and on. I cannot believe these media types have the unmitigated gall and Donovan McNabb shame on you shame on you you were a good quarterback you were okay you lost your ability to play at a high level and you were forced to retire no nobody nobody uh forced you out because you were black in the NFL that wasn't the case at all you took a team to the Super Bowl okay Nobody argued that you were not a good quarterback. You wasn't a great quarterback, but you were a good quarterback. This is ridiculous. This kind of narrative, this kind of topic in TV is what is dividing this nation right now. And BLM, Patrice Cullors, Jamel Hill, they are making a living going out there and lying to people, and driving a narrative that, to be honest with you, is actually growing the divide in this country, not bringing it together whatsoever. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And and places like Vice give these people a platform. I mean, you know, they're trying to be woke on Vice, too, you know. That is, uh, Jamel Hill and Kerry Champion, I think, have a show called We Won't Stick to Sports. Well... I hate to break it to you, but we're here to bust that ass at every turn, okay? Uh, you keep throwing out the false narratives, and we will keep knocking them out of the park and prove to you that you are full of crap. This is ridiculous. Might as well have been Sean King, Talcum X. I mean, you know, I, I don't know what Sean King's actual problem is with what his NFL career was. He was... He was a quarterback capable of being a backup, okay? That's it. End of story. All right? Again, it has nothing to do with performance. Michael Vick went to jail for killing dogs and got a second chance and won an MVP award. He is black. 
save that bullshit for somebody that's going to buy it. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.